Hi, my name is Caroline Clark and I'm a postural alignment specialist. So today we are working with shoulders. Now, I was suffering with shoulder pain quite badly um, during December and I think a lot of that was stress because my husband wasn't that well, but he's all better now, thank goodness for that. So what we're looking at is why do we get shoulder pain and how can we stop it? I found that um, it was in my left shoulder and if I brought my hand above my head, gosh did it hurt, if I did anything it hurt and I could get pains coming down from my shoulder right the way down, both sides, um, down my bicep and down the back of my arm as well and it was really really horrible. So what can we do about it? Well I believe it comes to this humerus bone, right? This humerus bone can, if it, if it gets stuck, it's a bit like a hip bone. So we've got exactly the same as in our legs. We have a ball and socket, we have a big bone, we have two bones and then lots of little bones underneath. Exactly as the hip um, with the femur coming down to the um, to th um, shin bones and then down to our feet. So quite similar. Our bodies just mimic themselves all the way through. So these are the exercises that if you have got a really iffy bad shoulder that are really good to do and you'll find that they start releasing it. For the first couple they might be a little bit discomfort but don't worry we just need to get some movement within this big ball and socket joint here and things are going to loosen up. Now this is um, just try them you know i have found this to be great and i've worked with my classes and we find this to be really good and in my book i've got lots of shoulder pain but this is one that i found to be particularly good for me so we're going to lie in a neutral back sort of position so you're going to have your legs up on here and we're just going to let the whole body relax at the moment so you just want to see what's going on do your shoulders feel equal on the ground that's a really big thing to ask yourself and then as you come down the body does this um, is there an arch in the back and also does the pelvis feel quite equal on the ground those are the first few things to ask yourself right so what I'm going to do is I want to neutralize from my waist down I don't want my bottom half of my body getting involved in what I'm doing at all. So I'm going to bring my feet into a frog position and then there's a little triangular bone behind the pelvis called the sacrum and I want that on the ground and it is staying there and it is minding its own business. So now from the waist up, from the pelvis up, I can start working the upper part of the body and the lower body is not going to have anything to do with it. So, to start with, I want to know what my body can do. So I'm gonna put my hands in the air, and now I'm gonna have my hands parallel to each other, and I'm just gonna to lift to the ceiling and down. One, two, I want to see if they're going equal. Three, four, so they're feeling really good today. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now leave the shoulder back on the ground and I just want you to rotate outwards and rotate inwards with those arms. So what we're now doing is this a bit, we do femur rotation, so this is a humerus rotation. Three, we're just working right into that ball and socket. Four, just in your own range of movement. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right now, if you put your hands together, so they're literally um, like a seal clap, but this time you're going to come out, keeping your shoulders back on the ground, come out very slowly to the ground. It's a bit like paint drying. But what I want you to, to do is the whole way out, those arms are actually taking control. So every little muscle, every muscle group that we are asking to work is beginning to work. So it's not a case of coming out quickly where it grabs at the top and at the bottom. It might feel harder as you get nearer to the ground. So you're just going to come right to the ground, let the hands be onto the ground and then come back up again. One arm might feel really heavy compared to the other arm. That's because those little muscle groups have not been working and we have got to activate them. So I would actually do 10 of those. I'm just doing one of it so because I want to do some other exercises. Right, when you've done 10 of those, which are quite slow, put your hands the other way round, so the backs of the hands are 
touching each other. This is going to be the harder one. So again, we've moved that humerus bone into a different position. And again, we're asking every little muscle group to jump in and work as it's coming through this range of movement. <coughs> Just swallowed at the same time as um, talking then down to the ground and then coming back up again. And again, it may be more painful on one arm than the other. It might be hard. If you can't get right to the ground, you could put a cushion under there so it would only go so far, so you don't get into a lot of discomfort. Right, when it comes to the top, after you've done 10 of those, you're going to bring your hands facing each other and come out again. So again, that humerus bone is in another new position and that ball and socket is, is doing something completely different and come up again. So 10 of those. And then the last exercise you're going to do is put your hands together, interlock the fingers, top finger up, gun pose, knobbly bits of your elbow, just turn them outwards and then back over the head towards the ground again, see how, how it's doing it. And I tell you what, I have got no discomfort coming to the ground whatsoever now. My lower body is minding its own business and my whole thoracic back and my shoulder blades are getting involved. So that is a really good way of, um, of actually helping your muscles take control of your arms and you'll find that you've got much more movement of actually putting your arms in the air. It's always good to see what it's like to start with and what it's like when you finish. So thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel, Caroline Clark Posture Alignment Specialist. My website will be above my head so you'll be able to see and have a look at all I do and hopefully see you very soon. Thank you very much. Bye!